Hi, it's Nicholas Entrup here at the 10th Conference of the Parties to the Conventional Migratory Species in Bergen, Norway. And one of the key questions, of course, is the budget. The question of how much funds will be provided by the 116 parties to the Convention to initiatives to protect migratory species, birds, marine and terrestrial around the world. In the past years, um, there has been quite a very low budget being provided by the countries for those initiatives. 135,000 euro per year were granted on a mandatory base to be available. And I think that's pretty poor given the, the challenges these animals are facing out there. When you look at the, the details of the regional agreements and the situation there, it's even worse. For example, the agreement to protect um, small cetaceans, you know, dolphins and porpoises, in the northern Baltic Sea had left 1,590 euro to be invested into field work. I mean, it's pathetic. You can't do anything with that. So the question is, um, what's next? The ministries of finance back in the member states certainly make pressure on the ministries for environment not to grant or not to allow any increase in the budget. And I think that's quite a delicate situation and a risky situation because the more a species gets endangered, the more cost it will be to prevent it disappearing from this planet. So I think it needs to be the other way around, invest now into the in intense and progressive conservation and protection measures rather to wait until the last minute. Um, Germany is a good example. Germany is one of the key funders of the Bonn Convention. But when you look at um, taxpayers' money employed in other areas in the country linked to um, animals and wildlife, you question, is that really logic what is done? For example, the, the Nuremberg Zoo has constructed a dolphinarium in 2011. The investment budget has been more than 20 million euro. And part of that money was granted by the county of Bavaria with taxpayers' money to provide a guarantee for those funds. If you would have put that money in a bank with an interest of just 1%, that 1% interest would have doubled the budget of the Bonn Convention. So I think it's not about an increase in the pressure on countries, it's about a more intelligent usage of funds. So we call on the member states to make sure initiatives around the world for avian, marine, as well as terrestrial species those initiatives are proper resources to take on the challenges to give those species a future. Cheers.